Greetings, my friend. I'm Hallelujah Brony, and today I'll be matching up each character's element of harmony from the TV show My Little Pony Friendship is Magic with a piece of the full armor of God described in Ephesians chapter 6, verses 13 through 19, based on their similarities, and then I will analyze what can be learned when we compare and contrast the two. And if you happen to uh, enjoy both, awesome. So, let us begin. Alright, to compare the two... I will start by introducing the characters from the show and the elements of harmony that they represent. So, take it away, Twilight. You think you can destroy the elements of harmony just like that? Well, you're wrong, because the spirits of the elements of harmony are right here! What? Applejack, who reassured me when I was in doubt, represents the spirit of honesty. Fluttershy, who tamed the manticore with her compassion, represents the spirit of kindness. Pinkie Pie, who banished fear by giggling in the face of danger, represents the spirit of laughter. Rarity, who calmed a sorrowful serpent with a meaningful gift, represents the spirit of generosity. And Rainbow Dash, who could not abandon her friends for her own heart's desire, represents the spirit of loyalty. The spirits of these five ponies got us through every challenge you threw at us. Then there is Twilight Sparkle, who represents the spark, which is the magic of friendship that binds them together, and the end result creates a powerful weapon known as the Elements of Harmony. Now that you've heard about the Elements of Harmony, I will now share what is written in Ephesians chapter 6, verses 13-17 through 17, using the New Living Translation. Put on every piece of God's armor so that you'll be able to resist the enemy in the time of evil. Then after the battle, you will be standing firm. Stand your ground, putting on the belt of truth, the body armor of God's righteousness. For shoes, put on the peace that comes from the good news so that you will be fully prepared. In addition to all of these, hold up the shield of faith to stop the fury arrows of the devil. Put on salvation as your helmet and take the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God. Basically, both have six components to the weaponry, and both consist of many virtues that, when combined, generates a power that has the capacity to defeat great and powerful adversaries. When you break them down, there are currently six elements of harmony. Honesty, generosity, kindness, laughter, loyalty, and magic. And the components of the armor of God include the belt of truth, the body armor of God's righteousness, the shoes of the good news of peace, the shield of faith, the helmet of salvation, and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. So now I'll begin to pair the two based on my personal research and opinions. I truly believe that Applejack's element of harmony, honesty, best represents the belt of truth, a potent tool to defeat the deceiver. And one that is honest values the truth, and when we choose to live a life with honest integrity that is authentic, and we can be vulnerable with others, then our friends will value what we have to say, especially when it's spoken out of love. And no, Satan is the father of lies, and the devil hates trustworthy people. Can I get an amen? Uh, truth and honesty allows the other elements to be held with greater credibility, and that is why I believe that Applejack the honest one, best exemplifies the belt of truth. My next comparison, it is written in Psalm 37 verse 11, The wicked borrow and never repay, but the godly are generous givers. And the one that wields the element of generosity is rarity. And uh, I have to admit that generosity is just one part of being righteous, so I don't really have a strong case saying that rarity is righteous. Many presume that to be a Christian, we ought to clothe ourselves with as many righteous acts as we can to be right with God. And you know, there once was a time in my life where I used to believe this. And I was going around all mere do well doing good deeds. And uh, I was just driven to gain the favor of other people and to God. But this was a futile pursuit because the, the truth is simple. When, when I chose to put my faith in the righteousness of Christ and embodied his love and compassion for others, that's when I started to live out the intention of this verse. And so I learned it's about embodying God's righteousness, not showing off our own petty self-righteousness, and I hope you're not making the same mistake. And that's why I believe that rarity's element 
of generosity is the closest to God's righteousness. Continuing on, I believe that Fluttershy's hooves will best filly into the shoes of the good news of peace. Huh? Huh? Anyone? Uh, okay. So, she embodies the element of kindness because she is tender-hearted and easily forgives. And she carries a deep care for other creatures of all sorts. Well, maybe not dragons, but... My favorite quote of hers is when she said, Sometimes we all just need to be shown a little kindness. And that is so true because words matter and a faithful compliment, an encouraging word, or an affirmation of a person's gift is powerful good news. And speaking of good news, did you know that the word gospel comes from the Greek word meaning good news? And anyone will find great satisfaction when we choose to spread kindness and those that accept and share the redemptive ministry of the life and death of Jesus truly live out the intention of this verse. So whenever you go out of your way and say kind things or do simple gestures of compassion for someone, especially if they don't deserve it, we spread the spirit of peace and the power of compassion. And that's why, in my honest opinion, Fluttershy's element of kindness has the closest resemblance to the shoes of the gospel of peace. And for the next one, it may seem like an odd pairing, but I believe that Pinkie Pie's element of laughter has a lot in common with the shield of faith. As Martin Luther once said, where there is faith, <laughs> there is laughter too. And Pinkie Pie is not just the slapstick, humorous clown of the show. She has the ability to brighten almost anyone's day with their optimism and her infectious joy, which is why she's one of my personal favorites of the show. You know, whenever God pulls through for me, in spite of all my doubts, fears, and impatience, it makes all those doubts and fears in retrospect seem downright hilarious, knowing that I really should have trusted God's timing all along. And if I prayed as much as I stress out, I wouldn't be getting so many gray hairs. But one thing to note is that faith is not the absence of doubt, but rather is the choice not to let all those fears to uh, steal our joy and not to let it bring us down. So, don't fall into the temptation of fear. Wield the shield of faith in the same way that Pinkie Pie uses the element of laughter to diminish the power of fear. So now, let's talk about Rainbow Dash, a character who is best known for sticking with her friends with unwavering loyalty, which strikes some great similarities with the Helmet of Salvation, in my opinion. And to better understand the connection, think about what the Helmet protects. It's the brain, and the mind is very vulnerable to discouraging, to shameful, and negative thoughts that compromise our priorities. And these are tactics of discord, I mean, Lucifer. And in Rainbow Dash's case, her loyalty to her friends was tested against her dreams and aspirations. In the realm of spiritual warfare, has discouragement and reminders of past failures tried to sway you from your true loyalties and purpose in life? What can you do to stay rooted so that you won't be swept away in all these negative thoughts that can haunt and discourage the mind? The Bible makes it very clear. Whoever accepts the gift of salvation, committing their life to Christ, and asking for forgiveness of their sin, their name will forever be in the book of life, and no power can ever separate that. And when it comes to mind games... Having strong loyalties like Rainbow Dash to her friends is very admirable, and standing firm accepting the gift of salvation and wearing it on your head is a way to keep bad thoughts out, and that's why I believe the two are very similar. Well, this leaves one character left for my analytical comparison, and that's Twilight Sparkle, the main protagonist of the story, who has extraordinary magical capabilities that binds the element of harmony together, and they will not work unless all the other... Uh, virtues are present and truly embodied. And though magic and the words of scripture are not the same, well, both require all the other elements to be united in order to work as intended. So all the other elements and pieces of armor are all necessary defensive components to repel temptation, but scripture uh, is the blade and the spark to persevere against the enemies of the spirit. And Twilight, she's devoted... Uh, she's devoted her life to the study of magic, and she practices her studies every day to make her magic more powerful. And in the same way, the spirit of the sword 
is powerful with constant and diligent studying and living out the teachings of, of God's love and compassion. You know, this doesn't get you brownie points, because none of this does. Because you don't need to try to impress God in order for Him to love you. It simply enables us to produce the fruit of the Spirit, which is love, peace, joy, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control, which is stated in Galatians chapter 5, verses 22 and 23. And yeah, who wouldn't want this? And there is something special about the holiness and the power of Scripture found in the Bible. In fact, it's actually so feared it's actually banned in 52 countries. And Twilight's devotion to growing in the power of magic and to friendship is similar to the way I try to practice being a friend of the God of the universe and reading His Word. And that is why I believe that Twilight's goal of strengthening the element of magic highlights the necessity to rely on biblical truth to defeat the power of discord, uh, I mean the devil. I know, I know, there are huge differences between the two that I would really like to point out right now. Because the armor of God obviously is not physical armor to put on or to be worn. And it certainly isn't a tiara or a necklace. It is simply the way we choose to live. And in the show, each character represents one element of harmony. However, each follower is responsible for steadily strengthening each armor of their daily life to handle spiritual warfare. And it's never too late to begin this process. In conclusion, no one is perfect. We all have our strengths, weaknesses, virtues, and vices, no matter what faith you are and how much faith you have at the moment. And each character from Friendship is Magic brings all of who they are into their community of friends. And in the same way, those who are actively involved in the Brony community value growing each day to become more honest, generous, kind, humorous, loyal, and a better friend. And this is awesome, because the people that surround you will, well, for better or worse, shape who you are, and genuine friendship is what the church has strived for since day one. And when the church community is at its best, lives and communities are transformed for the better. So this concludes my comparative analysis of the TV show My Little Pony, Friendship is Magic, to the verses of Ephesians chapter 6. So thank you so much for viewing. Can you now see the uncanny parallels between scripture and the elements of harmony? If so, is it possible that there are more parallels that can be drawn between the show and biblical scripture? <laughs> or is it just me? Thank you again. Honestly, I don't care if you subscribe, like this, dislike this, or share it because God simply placed it on my heart to share this message just for you. And I, I just pray that I enabled you to learn, to, to be encouraged, to grow in faith, or even just to pique your curiosity on this topic. So, this is Hallelujah Brony signing off. Until my next video, my friends, get out there and be a blessing. I have a faith no one believes. I love a God no one can see. You put your trust in tooth and air. That's what they all told me. But I believe because of fear And I can see you crystal clear I know that you will meet me here